Oh hi, welcome back. Let's create this kinetic typography in After Effects where the text will be moving inwards as part of this rolling text on a cube surface. Let's create a new composition, 260 by 3840, 60 FPS, 20 seconds. Click on OK. Right click on the left side of the timeline to make a white background and then head over to New, Solid, make it white, done. Let's make a text. Click on the text icon, type anything, for example, this. Change the font type as well. Afterwards, um, um, all right, copy the text. Afterwards, let's animate this by moving it upwards so that we have this rolling text kind of look. Turn on the stopwatch. Make sure that the uh, position stays at minus eight. Let's say this text stops moving at twenty seconds. You um drag. Uh, the text just like so, so that all of the rows of the text are all covered just like so. Make sure that the horizontal position is set to minus 8, like at 0 second. Afterwards, you make a new composition to make the cube that will act as the base where the text will be moving inwards. Alright, create a new composition change the width to 3840 and then make a square by clicking on the rectangle tool hold the shift key on your keyboard drag it like this don't make it too large right click on the shape layer and then head over to transform and then you click on center anchor point afterwards you right click on it again head over to transform and then click on center in view that's it Drag the first composition, which will act as the base of the cube, into the second composition. Afterwards, you use an effect under distort called the corner pin. This is used so that um, you create this um, cube look. All right, let's let's move the the lower left and the lower right points, just like this. And then drag this so that um, the top left is attached to the lower left of the black square where the text is heading towards. Just like this. Hold on, it's still too... Alright. Hmm, like this is enough. It's enough. Alright, afterwards uh, you make several copies. Copy it, and then you change the rotation to uh, 90 degrees. And then you copy it again, change the rotation to 180. And then copy it again, and then you change the rotation to 270, just like so. Also, you can do some tweaks by um, clicking on a cube surface, and then you head over to effects, and then you head over to color correction, and then you click on, no, 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 channel, and then you click on invert, so that it's inverted just like so. Afterwards, you do the same for the fourth one, which is this. And now you're done. That's how you can create this kinetic typography. You can even do some tweaks with the rotation or anything, and it may turn into this. Thanks for watching. Do drop a like if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. But for me, it's good day. Ciao!